My name is uh, Edward Lopez. I'm, I'm representing Calstone, uh, managing director there. And we're here to talk to you today about our uh, Calstone money market service. So uh, particularly um, relevant here as we're as within this room and within eyesight, I can see that there's a lot of treasures here. There's a lot of liquidity fund providers here. So we're going to show you, talk to you about how we connect the two. So first off, uh, I guess it's the new trend to not say who you are at the at the start. So my my company, um, our marketing team, didn't want me to do the who are we. So I just changed it to what are we. And then uh, we're, I'll, I'll, I thought it was rude to not do an introduction. So some of you may know who we are. Um, some, some may not, but basically what we are is we're the largest global funds transaction network. Um, so you may not know our name because we sit behind the scenes. So one of the analogies we always use is when you come into the room, you flip a switch, the lights come on. You don't really think about how the electricity ran from that little switch or, or however it works up to the light bulb to turn the lights on. You just know the lights came on. So we're the plumbing behind the scenes. We're the elect electrical wires behind the scenes that connect the buy side and the sell side. With that, uh, we're a trusted partner to fund managers. You can see some of the stats that we have there. So we have over 1,900 clients globally. We operate in 41 markets. Uh, we do about 9 million messages per month. Uh, we have 20,000 different links between the buy side and the sell side. And the investable value of our network is over 170 billion. So it's a bit of who we are. So we're on Innovation Alley, where all the cool kids are. Uh, but we have been a around the block a, a few times. <laughs> so. Leveraging that, sorry, I'm just going to say that last line there. In 2018, we leveraged this funds network that we have and, and, and the funds network capability that we have and focused very much on the money market uh, space and focusing on linking corporates, financial institutions, anyone with cash balances that are investing in liquidity funds. So what we did is we've created this money market service. And what the money market service is, it allows you, again, there's no software here. One of the things, we're, we're not a portal. Uh, we're not a treasury management solution, and we're not a fund. But we connect all those things, and we, and we do the infrastructure behind the scenes. So what do we do? We directly connect the liquidity funds to either their portals, a third-party portal, or directly to the corporate's TMS. Um, and, and, and we maintain all of those connections. And you can imagine with the, the number of, of uh, money fund providers out there, the number of corporates or financial institutions out there using different treasury management solutions, some of which we heard from today, um, others are still leveraging spreadsheets, which we also heard about today. Uh, so we're able to, to really process those and maintain those for these financial institutions. So what does that do? There's no manual transfer of information through this trade life cycle of investing in liquidity funds, uh, calculating yields, looking at reports, buying and selling and settling. Uh, we take the manual process out of that. So years ago, sort of the first automation that came into, into play around the liquidity fund um, investment life cycle was the introdu introduction of portals. Um, and I myself, actually, I'm, I'm ex-FIS. I used to run the FIS third-party money market portal. And that was digital transformation back before that term probably even existed. So that was back in 2009, 2010. So there's a number of portals that are out there, some that are provided by independent parties, some that are provided by the, the asset managers themselves. So what that did was it automated the trade and, and some of the analysis process, but it still was cumbersome, if at all, done to link into the TMS, which is ultimately the goal of every corporate treasurer. So what, what does our service do? It eliminates that manual process for both the fund provider, the TA, the portal, and the corporate treasurer. That gives you better investment control. As you can see, real-time information. And you're not waiting for cutoffs. You're not waiting for a file to be FTP'd over. You can see real-time information. One of the biggest benefits is the fast onboarding of new investors into a liquidity fund. So it benefits both sides, right? So it benefits the corporate treasurer in that they can get their funds invested immediately in an automated way, directly from their TMS solution or via a portal, but it's all very automated, uh, light touch. Somebody had mentioned single sign-on, I think in one of the earlier sessions today, really supports that. But then obviously, for, if there's any liquidity providers in the room, it enables you to get your, the balances funded uh, quicker in, in days, not weeks, not months. And then fund accessibility. So this is basically one connection into the Calistone network and then you can have accessibility of your fund to corporates and financial institutions around the globe through one single connection. So that's ultimately what we're doing with the money market service. So this is just a bit of a slide here to just show you, and, and many of you may be able to relate to this picture today. If you look at the investors on one side and the liquidity providers on the other, this is basically what happens today. You've got a number of people, and you can see that we've got the individuals on the other side of their box because there's still a lot of manual things that are happening, whether that's entering a trade into one system and then going to a portal and entering another trade into the portal, however that may be, 
or in, in many cases, it's still telephone broking or, um, or, or God forbid, faxes or, or whatever it may be, or spreadsheets being sent over. So there's still a lot of interaction that are going either directly to the funds or via a portal, or maybe in sometimes multiple portals, and that's all having to, having to be managed. In addition, the information that needs to go back, pricing, rates, yields, et cetera, those all come back in different formats, different directions, either again through a portal, multiple portals, or directly to a investor. When that goes directly to the investor, in many cases, it doesn't go straight into the TMS. It comes into a format that, that, that someone then has to rekey dual entry into a TMS solution, or it's a software project. Okay, we've got to do an interface to a TMS. There's, we're going to build it, we're going to UAT it, it's going to go into the next release, et cetera, and, and that can take some time. So that's how it looks today. And then with our Calistone service, we digitize this whole process. So it is a black box, but it's not necessarily a, a black box with a capital B. And a, <laughs> um, but essentially what we do is we, re we eliminate the friction of, of all that manual process and it goes back and forth. And whether you're dealing directly as an investor with a liquidity provider, we take any format from any TMS, from any portal that we, that, that we support here, and that includes Excel spreadsheets, proprietary formats, et cetera. We take that, we normalize it, and then we process it over into uh, the liquidity provider. That liquidity provider can be taken that directly, and that could be their, to their TA, or it could go via one of the independent portals, or if they're an asset manager who has a portal, we can process it through there. So essentially, we take away all of the infrastructure headache. We take away all of that, um, uh, that friction so that this process moves quite seamlessly back and forth. The other thing that we do is we enhance that, uh, that relationship. So if you're doing a tele your telephone trade, the person making the trade only knows about the trade. Somebody else is worried about the settlement. Somebody else is worried about the analysis of risk and yield, et cetera. What we do is we provide all of those uh, apps or widgets that you can see, all the information that comes to, from an investor or to an investor, from a TA, from a fund, et cetera. We normalize it, we standardize it, and then we push it straight into the investor's TMS, whatever TMS that may be, right? So it, it really automates the full process. And the thing that we're doing as well is that you know, portals, are, portals are out there and they're out there to stay, and we can support the, a portal process or a direct process within, with the liquidity funds themselves. So hopefully what you're hearing from me is, is, is that from a Calistone perspective, our real USP is that we're, we, we provide integration uh, and we provide this network that's out there. So could, could um, you know, some of the software providers out there, the TMS providers out there, you, you may be doing this today as far as building interfaces to liquidity funds or, or being able to trade or process the information. But what we do is we've got, this is what Calison does, is we take messages, we standardize them, and we transmit them. And basically we've that, got that massive network of 9 million messages being transferred each month. So from a flexibility perspective, we as an organization maintain over 190 different electronic formats, over 10 protocols, and specifically for the money market fund space, we've integrated to 40 different treasury solutions. Um, and that, that number is just growing. As, as more people are participating in, in the network, we've got new treasury management solutions that we need to integrate to, and then we work with those, those firms, and we're able to do that quite quickly. Um, and you know, our standard line is basically, give us what you have, and we'll worry about doing the transformation and normalizing it. So it's very low touch. So for the, uh, the corporates or for the liquidity provider, the introductions made to us, we go in and we work with that firm and, and we sort of take that IT um, uh, development away from the liquidity provider, the TA or the portal, et cetera. Um, and as I mentioned before, speed to market obviously is a, is a great outcome of that. And you're able to get clients investing into, uh, get corporate treasures invested into the money funds as quickly as possible. The other thing we do clearly is a global reach. So since we're a global organization and we trade in those 41 different markets, if there's liquidity funds or you've got a corporate treasurer who has uh, treasury centers around the globe, uh, that's not, a, uh, that's not a, a blocker for us. We're able to take transactions, and we do this today live, is to take transactions from anywhere on the globe and process it to any fund that's, that's around the world as well. So the thing that I, I definitely want to stress here is that this isn't aspirational. This is something that we do today in the money market service. We, 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 launched, we launched that... Um, in 2018, and um, one of the, 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 the largest global asset managers who provide liquidity funds is, is using us as their infrastructure for their portal, um, and this has been live for, uh, for, since 2018, so we're processing that today. So kind of put this towards, towards, towards the end, um, because sometimes there's, there's, uh, when, when you mention the term blockchain, 
you get three different kind of reactions. You get the people who kind of run away like their hair's on fire. You get the people who are just like, eh, okay, there's another buzzword. I'm not, I'm not listening to this conversation. You get the people who really embrace it. So one of the things that we've done at, at, uh, at Calstone is actually we're the, the first live blockchain infrastructure for the funds industry. We have 1,900 clients are all operating on the blockchain. Now, while that might be scary for some, what we do is we leverage that as our technology to be able to provide all those services that I just talked about. And so since we've implemented that and, and we've got 1,900 clients live on our DMI, uh, what that enables us to then is to slowly roll out those features and those capabilities to those folks who are a little bit hesitant about moving into blockchain or, or to maybe perceived as a step too far. But our philosophy is, is that we had to go this way as a, as a tech provider because, because what it does is it just it reduces that friction in the market and it puts you wherever you are in the life cycle of a, of a, a liquidity investment buy side, sell side, treasury system, transfer agent, fund manager, wherever you are, the, the DMI allows you to be at the center of your, um, your, the, the ecosystem, being able to get information real time as opposed to it being single stream, back and forth, basically everything is out there and you have access to it. Whether those customers are using it or not, that, that's, that's part of our challenge is to get the people adopt and, and, and link into that. But we are absolutely live and, and running blockchain today in the industry. Hopefully, I've got across what our service is. Again, we, we're not a portal. We're not a fund. We're not a TMS. But we link those three parties together. Uh, we do it in a very efficient way. Uh, TMSs, are, uh, TMSs and corporates are, are joined up to liquidity funds in days, not weeks or months. Uh, and we basically manage that whole infrastructure behind the, the electricity behind the wall or the plumbing behind the sink. That's our job. And we take that headache away from all sides of the, the equation.